Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Radiant Dawn. I'm your host, Gordon Captain. You may notice the screen is paused. So, the prep menus for 2 Endgame was lost in a weird file corruption. Uh, this is the second time that's happened. Well, we'll see if I can avoid the third time. The main things I bought is I bought a Killer Lance and a couple of steel blades and a couple of steel great lances and gave them to um har nephany brom and, and put all of put nilucci's lagoo stone in less inventory and i bought a concoction in retrospect you should just buy all concoctions because it turns out that the main item that ike can't buy is concoctions so buy concoctions so onto the map itself the Main strategy of this map is going to be to get Alincia and Har to kill Ludvek. So, one interesting thing about this map is that uh, you don't actually need to kill Ludvek at two range, like you would think. He's a moving boss, but there's actually a square which you can stand on that Ludvek will attack you from two range and then die i didn't go for that which probably was a mistake i probably should have gone for the one range spot with a steel great lance because as you'll see uh heart just barely doesn't kill ludvek normally the other thing i'm trying to do is i need to set up a position for my other units because i need to get a two turn because they need to get uh, Alincia to guard Leanne, and I need to start. And on turn two, I need to shove Leanne a bunch of times so that Leanne will be able to reach Har. To accomplish this, I kill this stupid archer that would otherwise kill Alincia and have Alincia block the wall the way. So the other major objective on this map is getting the two resources. So in theory, you could one turn this map by putting Har in the in the critical square, which would be so sorry the square that Ludvek would be attacking from one range, which would be one to the left of where Har is right now, and Har would just hammer him. But he would need a speed wing to hammer him twice in order for that to work. Then the other strategy for reading this map quickly is you can. Do what I'm doing here, which is try to get the energy drop in the Draco Shield. So I lose a turn, but I get an energy drop in a Draco Shield for a turn, which is quite a good trade in my opinion, because the Draco Shield has nice value for Ike, and the energy drop is just many, every energy drop in this run costs a turn. So being able to get an energy drop and a Draco Shield for one turn is quite a good deal. So now it's time to just beat the rest of the map. The very first thing I need to do is check to see where the energy drop is. Uh, because you can forget that pretty easily. <laughs> so the setup here is you need to drop... Uh, sorry. Drop Heather in from Marsha's uh, saddlebags down to a square adjacent to... Alincia, sorry, where she will be adjacent to Leanne, and Leanne will also be adjacent to Alincia, so that drop has been done. The next setup is to just shove uh, Leanne three times, smite her once, and shove her twice, which will then set up a dance so that Alincia and Heather can go their respective ways and get the items I want. Alincia needs to kill Ludvek, and then Heather steals the Draco Shield. I decided to have Har kill the Armor Knight, so Har could use the um, energy drop. If I had given Ileana the energy drop, maybe you could have Har take the Tomahawk instead, which may or may not have value. But instead, I will be using a combination of Alincia and Khalil to get this final kill. Uh, Alincia turns out to be off by one, obviously. And then Khalil gets the kill. Uh, if I had done the steel pole axe strategy with Har, I would not have needed Khalil. But that is 
to endgame, cleared in two turns with both the energy drop and Drago Shield obtained. I'll see you guys next time for part three. Bye-bye.